I used to watch Star Wars every single night for like a year. Not like the whole movie, not like not like the whole saga, no. I used to watch about 10 to 15 minutes of the battle scenes in episodes 1, episodes 2, and 3. You know, 3. Uh, episode 5, Empire Strikes Back. I would watch the fight battle scenes, the big battle scenes, every school night for about a year. I just grinded that. I just grinded that every night. There's like a bigger topic at hand here I want to discuss. Like, it's like childhood, like OCD or like... I don't know, kids are weird, right? You probably have some weird ass shit you did as a kid. You're just like, I don't understand why I did that, but you just did it. I don't, I don't, I don't know why we do it. I think we're, our brains are just weird. We're trying to adapt and think about, I don't, I don't know. It's weird, but this is one of the things. I have many things that I did as a kid that just really like, why do you, I would wear the same like two shirts every day for like three years, or two, three years, like a whole year, just a second grade. I would wear the same T-Rex shirt every day it was so comfortable it fit nicely and i could never have a shirt that like touched my armpit here in a certain way if it did i just i was like nah -uh, i couldn't go to school or like i didn't want to go to school anyway back to the star wars starting like fourth grade around that time at about every school night from 7 30 or 8 o'clock i would start making popcorn i would get out my star wars dvds and then skip to the battle of naboo the battle of, of Gen genosis or the, uh, the battle on Hoth. I would watch that 10 minute, 15 minute battle, either repeat what I just saw or put in another DVD and watch another battle. I did this from about eight o'clock to like 8.45. I would brush my teeth and be in bed by nine. Every day, every night, every night, whatever. Now granted, the battle scenes were awesome. They were beautiful. They were cool to look at. I had Legos at the time and I really wanted to like replicate those battle scenes with Legos. But at the same time, like I need you guys to understand this. If you guys have ever seen the battle of Hoth and all that stuff, like these aren't like hour long like battles. They're like 10 minutes sometimes. I literally watched the same scenes every night for a year, for a whole year, basically. I don't even know if I wanted to do it anymore. I just had to, to like, it was like a ritual. Yeah, I guess that's a great way to put it. It was a ritual. It was something I did, but also I, something I had to do. Well, I heard that guy. I don't know how I heard that, that guy, but got him. Oh, no way. Look at that. Wait, what'd they do to the skin? Yeah, they're, they're cool movies and stuff and whatever, but... You can't convince me that doing that every night is healthy for like a solid year. No, I wanted both of them. Definitely my two favorite battles were the Battle of Naboo and the Battle of Genosis. Genosis definitely, actually, it's gotta be my top one. Something about watching all of those AT, or AT, uh, what is it? Oh my god, ATTEs? Bro, that was so cool. And there's a massive, large-scale battle. As a kid, that would, like, literally get me going. To watch that, like, I literally memorized the scene. But I still felt like... I don't, there's just weird things we do as... Or we did as kids that, like, I just still don't understand to this day. Like, I didn't need... Did I really need to watch Star Wars every night? The same scenes that I basically memorized? No, but I did anyway. And I, and I had to, I was forced by my own will or my own like brain. This, I mean, I already discussed this in other videos, but it's the same topic of like childhood, teenage, like OCD kind of things from, uh, yeah, I shit in second grade. I shit myself in school from that day forward until like high school. I had to shit before I went to school. Or like, I just like, I, like, I was like, I'm not panicked, but I was just, I was on edge and I was like, oh my God, like, what if I have to shit again in school? I'm not, I'm not pooping in school, bro. That shit's dumb. I had to do it at home where it was safe. So from that day forth, every day I had to like, do whatever. And then I eventually, I built a ritual that would help me do it. Like my bowel movements. This is weird ass shit we're talking about. Don't judge. Just, just trying to look at it from a different light now that I have a little bit more knowledge about myself and things. From like fourth grade, when I got my GameCube. I would play Lego Star Wars like every day for like a half hour and then do my stuff. And then we went to school. 
and then from like sixth grade when I get my Xbox December to like second year of like high school I would I would do exactly this I would get up shower go play COD for 20 minutes come down eat food go play COD for 20 more minutes come downstairs do my stuff whatever and then I would take five minutes and then go we go to school every day and it worked like a, it was a fucking charm it was it was brilliant it had a, such a high success ratio that like i was never concerned about going to school and like having to shit myself i get it i, I know we're talking about star wars it's, it's the same topic not that you can't but how do you like mature and how do you like have kids how do you have a job how do you like yeah i guess mature as an individual but you're like you no know i gotta watch this 45 minutes of star wars every single night with this bowl of popcorn and watch the same scene over and over again even though i already memorized it. like that's just something that you have to grow out of under and i guess understand why you're doing it so you can just become a better person and i still don't know why i did it but i guess i, I mean i really like the scenes they're cool ass scenes bro but you know if you do something over and over again for like years not years but like every day it, it becomes uncool right it's just how it works that's the nature of i guess things that are fascinating you do them too much, they ain't fascinating no more. But I think I just did it because, um, not that I had nothing better to do, but I guess it was just meditative, right? It was meditative, but at the time, I didn't even know what meditative meant or was, you know? The weird thing is, I don't know what broke me out of that. Because obviously, it's like, it's almost like an addiction, but it's not. Because it's just like, I think more of an OCD thing, a mental thing, not uh, an addiction. I guess addiction is a mental thing. But it's like, how do you break yourself out of that if like someone is in there now? And it's like... That mindset is always going to be there. Like, to, even today, there's always this thing where it's like, I have to do like this before I go to bed, kind of, in some fashion. But that's just like how kind of, you know, everything is. Like, you like to, like, people are, we're like habitual creatures. So, like, we obviously like to have a routine, have habits. But we want to make sure they're kind of a little bit healthier. Or, I don't know, have some structure. So, how do you break yourself out of that? That's what I was saying. And it's like, you can. Oh shit. You can never really break yourself out of like your own mental mind, right? I mean, obviously you can, but it's hard. So it's better to like work with it. So it's, I don't know what I did to get myself out of that mindset, but I know what I would do now if I was in that. And I would definitely need to find a different thing to do at that specific time that would give me the same satisfaction. Maybe not satisfaction is the word, but something else take your mind off of it i guess like an example would be like you know this this is this is with any addiction or any like i guess ocd thing kind of not maybe not ocd but just like habitual thing that you can't break out of you have to put that energy towards something else right so like for star wars watching every night eventually i i think i turned to just um oh. bro mad hit markers Eventually, I think I turned to just watching Nickelodeon instead of because I was like, you know what, I might as well watch something new, something different, you know, every night. I don't need to watch the same exact scenes. Or maybe I, I'll try, you know, watching just the whole movie. I don't need to, you know, watch this exact scene again. I can watch the whole movie. Like, it's still fun. It's still the same Star Wars thing, but... And with Call of Duty, I mean, that took so long to break out of, but I, I genuinely enjoyed it. Bro, what's up with the hit markers? With Call of Duty, I eventually, um... I mean, I always did that in the morning, but I tried to do, I tried to switch it up with like Minecraft. That's why I wasn't always playing Call of Duty. Because I need to do something in the morning. However, I didn't continually want to play, you know, the same game. Thought it'd be a little bit healthier if I switched it up. I, I think I did have a Call of Duty addiction at some point in my life. And I broke out of that by finding some other activity to put my energy towards. Especially like, I had a lot of anger. What? So... One of the things that I put my anger towards instead of Call of Duty was uh, like lifting. Like I would just work out a lot and just get mad at working out. Like, Ugh, I'm mad. And that made, I, that actually made my Call of Duty I feel like a little better. Because, you know, you need different emotions to... What? What's happening? Guy okay, right here. Wait, what? What is happening? How did he know I was right there? Bro! 
Where is this guy coming from? How did he get back? He jumped off. Dude, these kids, I don't understand how they play the game. How are you that fast? How do you know I'm there? I'm hiding like a ninja. Trash, bro. Does this stuff happen to you guys? I am literally stealthed in a corner. Throw a C4. I have ghost. Does ghost not work? I don't understand. I'm trying I'm tr let me bring this full circle with Star Wars. I somehow caught myself into some weird OCD addiction as a kid where I had to watch the same battle scenes in Star Wars over and over again to make myself go to bed or something. Obviously, that's not the worst thing you can do in life. You can obviously, you know, do drugs as a kid and stuff and I don't know, old, I, you know, there's, there's a lot of worse things that can happen in life. But at the same time, like that's just it's it's a weird thing that I did and I and not that I didn't enjoy it. I just didn't understand it, and I think that's the part I didn't like. I'm like, why am I doing this? But I had to do it. And I guess a lot of people have that stuff in their life where they're just like, why did I do this as a kid? And why did I continually do it? Oh no. And eventually, you, know, you have to break out of these habits because you can't mature as an individual doing that. And, and like the t-shirt thing, as a kid, I would always wear the same exact t-shirt. It's like, you can wear the same t-shirt if it's like... Not the same shirt, you know, like, you can have, wear, if you, if you have, like, 10 of these shirts, you can keep wearing them, but, like, to w to not want to wear a shirt because it, like, tickles your arm in a weird way, or, like, I, my boxers, if it, like, touched my, like, side a weird way, I, I was like, nah, or my underwear, I was like, no, I can't wear that. And it's like, bro, you just gotta, like, not give a shit sometimes, like, just be like, I think, I think that's what ultimately came to, was like, or I guess there's different things, but, like, with that, I was like, you know, why do I re do I really care, why do I care? how this little underwear affects my life it's definitely a mental i'm so dead it's definitely like a mental decision and it could take a while to do hold on boys I saw him! I saw him! That was a nice shot. Man. Man. Yeah, eventually you just gotta get over your shitty self doing stupid things and you just gotta not even man up because if, if girls are watching this video, you just gotta you just gotta be stronger within yourself, right? It's okay to do stupid stuff. Like, I still play Pokemon on the, the, the Game Boy or whatever. But that's fun to me. I understand why I'm doing it and why I want to play it. I didn't understand why I was watching the same two battle scenes of Star Wars every night for months. That's not healthy. That's just weird. It's not productive. I mean, it's okay to do things that aren't productive, but it's... There's like a different... I don't even know what I'm saying. Hopefully you guys understand it, though, because I feel like we've, most, of, most of us have all been there. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to talk about some weird childhood stuff. There's a lot of stupid crap I did as a kid. This is... We're only scratching the surface. But Star Wars has made a lot of wonderful things and or helped me in a lot of things in life. So I can't like I I wouldn't I wouldn't say it was a bad experience me watching that every night, but it was just it was unnecessary. But yeah, Star Wars is great. I love Star Wars. Check out this shirt though. Look at this. Man, this shirt is so cool. Oh, oh, oh. Paid like 60 bucks for this shirt. Best 60 bucks in my life. Let's see this guy clutch this. Take a sniper. Yeah, there you go. Hit that. Hit that. Why are you standing still? <gasps> Wait, what? Okay. Oh, oh, that's so sad. Oh my god. Oh my god, that was so sad. <laughs> Who is that guy? Oh, uh, we need to go message that guy right now. This is it. Yo, I was watching that. Had it? That was so rigged. You I had know. that. That was so sad. <laughs> bro, what I know, bro. What the fuck? No, you had that. That the game's dumb. All right, I just wanted to say that oh. I just want to give you motivation. That that was not your fault. That was just a bad <laughs> game. <laughs> I know, bro. I'm changing. I, I'm changing right now. Right, I'm changing the the carp. All right. Well, good luck with that, man. I'm I'm getting off for a little bit, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. See good you, luck. Bro. I'll see you. <laughs> that guy had that. That's super sad. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. You know, we talk about this. These are the type of videos I really enjoy. Just talking about like really stupid stupid experiences in life and looking back on them with future knowledge it's exciting all right yeah see you i'll see you guys